Hi gang, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me. At the beginning of this month, Israel has installed a earthquake warning system, the first of its kind in the country, where it's hooked up to 120 earthquake monitors that will use the missile defense system along with the words earthquake, earthquake, earthquake um, being broadcast if there's an earthquake of a magnitude 4.5 or greater in Israel. Areas where the potential earthquake would occur would have no warning at all. And the longest that they would have in notification is maybe about 30 seconds. I believe they've done one test of the earthquake warning system. It's the same system triggered by the missile defense. The siren will now also sound if a nationwide network of the 120 seismic monitor stations detects a strong earthquake. It would have to be a magnitude 4.5 or greater. The Dead Sea Fault that runs between Israel and Jordan is known for seismic activity. Large earthquakes happen in the area about every 100 years. And the last one occurred in 1927. Going to Google Earth, here's the location of the 1927 earthquake. It was a 6.5. Over here we have Tel Aviv. Should an earthquake occur in the Dead Sea, people in that area would not have any warning at all. They call it a blind zone. Jerusalem, which is up over here, would have maybe four to five seconds warning. According to the government approved examination, if there was a large earthquake, they're expecting about 7,000 deaths, 8,600 people seriously injured, 37,000 people with light injuries, and 9,500 people trapped in rubble, and 170,000 people made homeless. Over 70 bridges there would probably collapse their considered high level of seismic ri uh, risk uh, since they started their organization to make the homes a little bit stronger and buildings a little stronger only three bridges have been reinforced it was also found that over 1,600 schools which need to be reinforced against earthquake only 50 of them have been done so they also found that the one natural gas line and the electricity uh, giving power and gas to, you know, the different homes and businesses throughout the state uh, would be damaged during a large earthquake. There is no information about the fire departments, emergency personnel buildings, which would be the first responders in a disaster, uh, nursing homes, hospitals. I couldn't find any information about any of those buildings being upgraded for a large earthquake. There is evidently 185 police stations, fire stations, hospitals, etc. And they were all built before the 1980s. And they are at high risk of collapse or damage during a major earthquake. There's been a lot of talk about the recent earthquakes that's been occurring there in Israel and surrounding areas. Off the coast of Creek Greek today, there was a magnitude 5.3 that USGS is not reporting. There was also a smaller one, which was a 4.2. Again, USGS is not reporting. Uh, there was one earthquake on the 18th that was a magnitude 2.5 down there by the, the Gulf, the Gulf of Suez. And this fault line runs all the way up through here. They call it the uh, Dead Sea Fault. And here are some of the earthquakes, the recent earthquakes that I mapped out. On the 16th, there was four earthquakes, the largest being a magnitude 3.2. There's its location. Let me zoom in a little bit. On the 15th, there was also four earthquakes, the largest being a magnitude 3.5, uh, close to the same location. And then going down further, let me pull this down. You can see all the earthquakes. 
there was oh that's at 5.3 that i reported okay so i don't know if it's got anything to do with world events prophecy etc but there has been a great increase about a major earthquake striking israel and they're getting close to that 100 year mark so that was 95 years ago so basically a large earthquake could happen at any time what are your thoughts put those comments down below thank you very much for watching thank you for subscribing please stay safe and i will talk to you later god bless you Bye.